Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Kenshi, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide. And uh, something I just wanted to show you that I did, uh, I'm always trying to learn new things with this game. I still have so much myself to learn. Uh, it's got just so much to it, the game. I've turned down, I'm in the options menu, I've gone to audio, and I've personally turned down my music frequency to one because I want music to play as frequently as possible. I wasn't sure exactly how to interpret this slider, but from what I understand, this means the time in between the music tracks. So if you don't like music and you crank this up, it'll be like 20 minutes before you hear another piece of music. I like music in games, and I understand that like sparse audio contributes to the ambiance and the vibe of the game. Totally get that. Um, but for me, I like the music, so it helps my experience, and it doesn't detract from the atmosphere at all. So I'm turning that down to one. Just wanted to show you that. All right, so what are we doing here? Well, we're checking back in with our characters. And, um, for example, Tutorial Dude right now um, is just sitting and... Where are you, buddy? He's down here. He's actually doing nothing. So his goal is aimless, okay? And Meow is getting food, operating machine, operating machine, and operating machine. So we're done researching, or we don't have any more research set at the moment, right? Now, let's take a look at Tutorial Dude. What's our plan? Our plan is to make enough money to get our burgeoning tailoring business off the ground so that we can make money making equipment and eventually try to make our team better equipment all right so let's just check in here and we've got five pieces of copper that we can sell any um iron nope nothing like that okay so if i go upstairs okay and i'm just clicking the floor button um you can also use by the way page down page up to do that with the keyboard I could check this and it needs iron plates. I could check this and it needs iron plates. So that's what we are blocked behind right now. I have 834 cats. So we need to just make a little bit of money. So I'm gonna speed the game way up, push F4 to go max speed. And I'm gonna take tutorial dude, okay? And I'm gonna look at the current jobs that we have going. So this node right here will only take one worker. And this node, this raw iron will take three. So the iron is less desirable, but I could just give Tutorial Dude, I can shift right click on this and just give him this job and he should go um, and come mine and at least help us out a little bit. Now we've been spotted by someone and it is this person right here. And by person, I mean, oh my God. So this is a wandering assassin from the shinobi thieves and it says they're a wandering trader and you can see that they have some kind of serious business going on with their legs uh and i'm alarmed now i don't know if those are robotic legs or what we've got going on here uh, but um i'm i'm alarmed okay and so luckily they're not coming to attack us they're just like traveling and we can work. All right, I'm going to set tutorial dude to sneak. Everybody's sneaking. And this is just us making some cash. Meow is being spotted um, by someone. Meow, let's just go to you. Push two. And just zoom in. Take a look at these arrows. So she is being spotted by the guards. And then there's this yellow arrow that's going over here to... Who is it? It's the Hungry Bandits, everybody. It is the Hungry Bandits. Why don't we do a little combat training? When this kind of opportunity comes around, it's time. So I'm going to push the apostrophe key. Or I'm sorry, it's not really the apostrophe key, is it? Um, it's the tilde key. The key to the on my keyboard is the left of the number one on the keypad um, above the tab key. And it selects everybody in your group. And I'm going to select everyone. I'm going to take them off sneak, and I'm going to take them off passage passive and we're just going to run over here and just pick a fight uh with this group now uh we are going to want um oh we have to select everybody we turn off their jobs okay 
and we turned off passive we turned off sneak very good now tutorial dude i'm going to turn him on passive i'm going to put him right here um but then everyone else okay i want them to go fight and i'm just going to send them over here and tutorial dude i'm going to send them back closer to the guards now we're getting into a fight and they're saying give us your food we're already there so what we're going to do is just um i'm just going to stand here and just let ourselves get attacked and see what happens um okay so everybody come over here and yep let's just wait they're asking for food and they're saying hey give us food and we won't slaughter you okay and we're just like sweet let's see how this plays out and we're gonna send everybody over here and not gonna share any things have it your way and so they've started the fight it's fine to just let them start the fight or you can start the fight do whatever you want right now they've already hit us a couple of times we're taking some damage so let's start telling our people to attack individual units okay so i'm gonna tell meow to just um attack this target and we're gonna tell hot longs to attack this target and we're gonna tell soto to attack this target and Roka, where you at she's coming in i'm gonna have her attack this target okay and then here we go and you can just let this play out let's just let this play out slower so we can see we got a couple of hits in right here okay um and where's tutorial dude he's standing here good all right so our people are going to get beat up pretty good by these bandits but that's okay Right, so I always enjoy doing this where what we're going to do is we're going to check out. This person has actually took a good shot. Soto is getting hurt, but we can look at her and we can check her toughness, right? Um, we can check Rucka. We can check, yep, Hotlong's toughness and look at Meow's toughness going up, right? We can check out melee attack, okay? See how everything's going. Now, this is a hard fight for us because there's just so many of them that we're going to get pushed around. It's going to be hard for us to even get attacks in. All right. Ooh, look at that big sweeping attack. Um, it looks like Meow might have hit three people right there. So that's pretty good. Now, Meow's um, stomach is not doing... Hot Logs is already down. Um, and Tutorial Dude's trying to come to the rescue. Okay, so I'm going to actually send Tutorial Dude back here for now. I'm going to just maintain him so that he doesn't get attacked by these bandits. Um, we're almost down. Rucka is, you know, because Rucka is tough, she's really standing in there um, and holding her own. But she's going to get overwhelmed at some point here. tutorial dude is going to want to come back in he's going to want to be part of the action um and be a medic but we're going to just run back here and just let this happen now what we need to do is check um recovery comma unconscious um unconscious and you can see like nobody is gonna die right now the stomach is really hurt here on soto um but nobody is bleeding out or in you know ridiculous danger so this is fine and Rucka will is is down, and so at this point, oh no, she got back up. She's tough, and she's playing dead. Okay, so Rucka is playing dead, um, and she's doing this to avoid further injury. This is the the tutorial about it. You can get up and right click to move, um, but we're just going to let her stay there and just not have her move. Um, oh no, I think I right clicked her to move. Now what they're doing is they're just going through your stuff and they're seeing if you have any food which i don't think we do all of our food is at home okay tutorial dude is trying to be a a hero and let's just let them pass so once rucka gets knocked down again by the way you can just check rucka and see like is she building up her stats and yep her toughness is going up she's doing some damage there with her sword and then she's been knocked down and tutorial dude here you got to get away Okay, and they're trying to go through your stuff, but they're not going to take any of our... Like, this guy is pilfering us, right? You can see that he's just... They're trying to steal our stuff, but we don't have anything to steal. I'm just going to continue to... You could just take the medic job off if you don't want to have to babysit tutorial, dude. Okay? But at this point, I think they're far enough away that we can come in and save people. So we need to make a choice. Who do we want to save? 
we've gotten a few people we want to save. So, let's just let this happen and see who we save first. Okay? So, Tutorial Dude has, um, in his backpack, plenty of first aid kit. He's actually trying to patch up Rucka, and I want him to fix up Meow instead. So, I'm going to select him, and I'm just going to wait until the cursor um, becomes a green plus for first aid and just right click Meow, and he'll go over and fix Meow. You can click on Meow, you can see that her stomach is getting patched up. And you can see that he's working on her chest, trying to stabilize that, okay? And he did that, and he's working on her arms. Now we can stop for a moment and just see who else is really hurt. Um, it's Rucka, okay? Let's go fix her. Um, tutorial dude, go fix Rucka. Ruka, fix her up. She's going to go into a coma. Her leg is in really bad shape. Um... But, again, remember, we're going to be able to fix all of this eventually. I'm going to actually have him fix her leg because it's so bad before I switch him off of that. And you can see, like, Ruka's getting, Ruka's getting fixed up. I keep saying Ruka, Ruka. Say whatever you like. Um, but the idea is, if I look at his... Um, advanced first aid kit. Look how few charges I'm using to patch these people up after that brutal attempt at combat. And he's going to go fix up Soto. Let's just check Hot Longs. She should be fine. They're out until we patch them up. Okay. And then Soto is getting patched up. And this is a slow, arduous process, but this is what you need to do to get your people strong enough to be able to handle themselves in a fight. And the beautiful thing, of course, like we've talked about with this, is that it's just low stakes. Of course, the game was saved. As soon as I booted the game up and started the tutorial, the game had been saved. So I knew that even if this fight went badly, I would just load up my save. Um, and now he's going to fix that meow. And at this point, um, we're gonna start carrying people home. So I'm going to um, right click um, with tutorial dude and i'm going to just hold down right click and select pick up okay and he's got her and then once he gets her i'm going to go back to our base all right and i'm going to um just kind of tell him to go in here and then we'll select the bed once we've got people inside it's hard to see inside unless somebody's over there i'm going to speed it up now of course another thing that we could have done right there if we wanted to do more combat -y stuff, is lure the, the bandits back to the guards and and then try to have them be aggressing us near the guards so the guards would have taken them down and we could have stood there and get, gotten some hits in and not taken as much damage. But right now, I'm more interested in trying to raise up our toughness and such, so I don't really want the guards to help us at the moment. All right, and we're going to go ahead and just put her in bed. And it's very clear, whoops, we don't have enough beds right now. So we're going to need to buy some and make some more beds. Uh, we didn't, I didn't make more beds when I filled out our team. So that's my mistake. And we're just going to go ahead and pick up Meow. And you can see, like, she's, she's going to be fine. They're all going to be fine. I'm going to go to F4. Speed it up. All right. And then I'm going to go, um, I've got... Tutorial dude selected, and I'm just going to right-click the bed and say, put in the bed, and here we go. And he's got her, and then we're going to go over here, and we can pick up somebody that's really hurt. Even if they're not in the bed, they're healing, it's just at a slower rate. All right, continuing our little rescue mission here. And uh, let's speed it all the way up. All right. So, um, unfortunately, we don't have any more beds. But um, I can just go here and drop the person on the ground. And then they'll at least be, you know, inside our base and not getting hit in the face by passing bandits, potentially. So let's kind of zoom in. And uh, I'm just going to say 
Um, I'm going to right click on uh, Soto, who's you know being carried over my shoulder. You have to wait until you get to kind of like up and down going arrows on the character, and then you just hold right click and say put down, and they'll put them down. And oh my god, Soto flops down like a rag doll. And that's disconcerting, but they're definitely safer. And we're going to go ahead and pick up Hot Longs. And let's check on our people. Once one of these people in the bed gets better, we can get them up and then have them pick up Soto and put them in the bed so Soto can heal up. So let's just kind of check on... Um, this is Meow. Meow is, you know, still recovering. As is Rucka. And Soto is actually doing okay. You know, stomach needs to get better, but everything is moving up. Just not as at not as a fast rate as if they were in the bed. All right, and then now we got hot longs here. And what we're going to do is just go back to the base. I'm just going to double click two and then get a camera view inside the base. And I'm going to kind of just move. Um, no, not. Meow, I'm sorry. Um, meow, you stay sleeping. Tutorial over here. Yeah, Meow's going to wake up. Um, <laughs> I accidentally had her selected and told her to move. You can see she's covered in blood. Um, so what you want to do with Meow selected is just right-click on the bed, hold it down, and then just say sleep, and she'll go back to bed. We're running her back. Running her back. Awesome. Okay, and then... Once we get here, go ahead and uh, put down hot longs. Okay. Now, let's just check everybody's inventories. Does anybody have any ore or anything? Not really. Nobody has anything. Um, tutorial, dude, what you got in your inventory? Nothing. I thought there was some... Uh, let's see. There is a little bit of copper in here that we can take. And... No, there's no iron. That's fine now. Okay, so this point I'm just going to go sell some stuff and just wait for people to heal up so what you can do you know and let me just say of course you don't really have to do what I'm doing which is getting into scraps you can just wait on that if you want but I like it just to practice combat practice using my medicine practice healing people and then check out Meow, okay? So Meow has been hurt. Her defense and dexterity are obviously way down because if you mouse over the dexterity, you see how it's in red in the lower left and it has a minus one and everything. And then it says right here, um, it's minus 44% currently of its, num of its level one skill because of injury. And the same thing for... Um, you know, defense uh, is we're getting a minus four to defense because of equipment bonuses. And, um, you know, that's also uh, going to be, uh, I mean, we don't have great equipment. We don't have great gear on, right? But that, that should also stabilize once we stand up and we're not um, hurt. So what we did is we raised, raised her toughness, all right? You can see hers is eight, five. 10 and 6 and these were all everybody's toughness starts at 1 so what we're doing is slowly building that up and then if you open up the character panel and you look at some of these people melee defense has gone up okay uh, for meow um, hot logs has even raised her katana skill and she's raised her defense um, rucka is obviously good there and soto has also raised defense so it's very slow at first but this is how you do it and it can mean all the difference in the world in us surviving. So I'm going to take Tutorial Dude over uh, to this shop. And I'm going to see if I can actually just buy a sleeping bag. I'm not sure. They're pro they might be too expensive uh, at the time being. But let's just check it out. Let's trade. Pause the game. And they do have a sleeping bag. And it's 605. So I'm going to sell all of these. And you see we get to six, uh, 1700. So I can actually buy both of these. Um, but I'm only going to buy one. And I know that's... Um, Oh, fine. I'll buy two. I'll try to get everybody healed. I was being really greedy about it, um, but 
I want to buy iron plates so I can start crafting, but I should have beds. I mean, these people look terrible. So let's go ahead and build, push to build menu, and we're going to go um, to camping, and we can build a camp bed, and all it takes um, is a sleeping bag like we showed you before. I'm just using the comma and the period to kind of rotate this a bit, and we'll just build these, um, you know, kind of over here on this back wall. One two like that confirm and then we'll unpause it and i'm going to tell him to come do this and he'll do it and he did that and then now i'm going to um pick this up and then put in the bed and then pick up and then put in the bed now we've got everybody convalescing oh whoa who just jumped out of bed hot lungs now hot lungs is doing this because she's hungry so she's coming out to get some food. So she just ate some food. Now what you want to do is after she eats, you see that her hunger bar is filling back up. And it, your people might do this when they're sleeping. They might be like, I'm so hungry um, that I got to jump out of bed and take care of it. And that's fine. And then you just, um, with hot long selected, I'm just going to tell her to go back to sleep. Her chest needs to heal. Okay. And then they will sleep until they either get hungry, I believe, or um, you tell them to move. So just kind of check on your people. Rucka is actually um, pretty much okay. Like, all of her injuries are healed, but you can see that even once the white is done, her head, stomach, and right leg um, are ne needing to uh, mend up. So I'm just going to let her stay there. All right. And now um, I'm going to zoom out and just, check some of these nodes so this node has some copper on it so we can just bring tutorial dude out here to just mine while people are convalescing all right and i'm going to put him on sneak and i'm just going to have him mine he's still a good miner his labor skill um is still insane so he should do this just fine and all we need to do with him is just mine until this fills up and then we can go sell some and buy some plates. I want to get a full stack. I mean, why not? And, you know, this is filling up rapidly because I'm on a high speed, but he's also good at this, all right? And so we're just going to open his inventory and just throw these in the backpack. We're going to have Tutorial Dude come into the general store at this point and sell these and see if we can get some plates. I want plates so I can um, finish building my crafting stations and start making some bandanas. And I'm going to turn him off of sneak. I don't need it right now. I still have his jobs off because I don't want him to do anything at the moment. Except for what I'm telling him to do. We're going to go trade and pause the game. Sell all this. Alright, so he has uh, 10 iron plates. So... I'll buy as many as I can. Six is as many as I can, by the way. All right. And then we're going to have him. Uh, I'm going to push page up to go to the top. I'm going to have him just come over here and finish building this. So I've right clicked on it. He's running over and he's fixing it. And you can see that this takes three iron plates. So he's going to easily be able to complete this. And while he's doing that, you can just check on your people. Meow is actually good enough to get up. So I'm going to have Meow. Um, I'm just going to uh, push two on her a couple times. And I'm going to have her stand up. And um, yeah, she needs to clean off some blood, um, unfortunately. That's, that's not a good picture. But um, we need to make everybody on our team armor or lure some bandits into the base and have them get slaughtered by the guards um by the base i guess i mean squin so we can go out bandit hunting too to get gear we might do that in the next episode actually our gear is bad it'll help us stay alive longer in the fights but meow is now up so what you can do is go passive jobs and sneak and she'll go back to doing her thing hot longs um i want her to rest up a little bit longer Rucka is actually probably okay all right her leg is still a little bit damaged 
Uh, and Soto is all, almost okay. So you can see that these people are doing pretty good. I'm going to let them rest a little bit longer, though. All right. And now this is completed. And um, we can go finish this or at least try to build th this um, loom. We're not going to be able to complete it because we don't have enough plates, but we can get close. Just add all the plates that we have, get them done out of our inventory. And I think we only need one more plate left. Unless I had already added a plate to that, and then in that case, we're good to go. We did it. All right. So here's what this does. This is a loom, okay? And this will allow us to take raw cotton and turn it into fabric, which we can use on the clothing bench, okay? Now, unfortunately, we don't have a farm to grow our own cotton. So currently, we are at the mercy of buying all... We even have an extra plate. I completely miss... I think I had must have already added some plates, or I just miscounted how many I bought. Either one is definitely possible. Now, this is where we can put fabric to store it. This is where we'd put the finished armor pieces. Now, um, we're going to have to buy all of our cotton and our fabric from the general store right now, and it's going to be a loss. We're going to lose money on this deal, but eventually we will raise our skills so much that the clothing and the items that we make from crafting will be uh, gain us a profit. Okay, so I'm going to wake up Rucka. Walk her over here. Passive jobs sneak. And um, I'm going to let these two sleep for a little bit. Now, tutorial dude. Okay. Um, we can put him back on jobs as well. And sneak. And he's probably going to go mine iron because there's nothing to research. And uh, we don't have any crafting to do right now. Now, I'm not going to be doing iron with him very much, but right now we just need to make money. And we can just check our people, four, five. Once, this is your judgment call of like how much health you want them to have, okay? Um, but once I get, you know, into the 90s or, or I, maybe like around 100, I'm going to be okay with them moving. You can see that, um, uh, show them the gear. Meow is like, you know, moving and she is healing right now, even though she's out here at nighttime doing mining, right? So hot longs, uh, let's go ahead and wake her up. She's at 98. That's good enough passive jobs sneak and she'll go off and so do also passive jobs sneak so we've rested everybody up and now we're back to just doing our thing again so that's kind of how that loop will go um as you practice fighting get beat up drag your people back to base if you choose to you know do it this way and of course as i've said many many times kenshi is a completely open game there is no one right way to play it it's however you want to play it to have fun i'm simply trying to show you the systems of the game so that you can enjoy it in your own way but you do not at all need to do this this is just learning how to do it and then once you have the fundamentals you can put your own spin on it you could be stealing. You don't have to be mining to make money. You could be, you know, trying to just play with one person. You could be fighting. You could build a base and not want to ever live inside the town. Whatever you want to do. All right. So at this point, um, I'm just going to mine all the way through the night because I can't sell stuff anyway. So I'm just going to keep everybody mining and then sell everything in the morning and get into the crafting. Now, right here, there's a bunch of Garus. If we wanted, we could get Scrappy and fight, you know, and that would be a fine group to fight, but I'm not going to do that right now. Tutorial Dude um, is working hard over here. And we're almost at the, you can see the sun rising. We're good. Usually, 
at least in my experience, and professional Kenshi players, you can all correct me if I'm wrong about this, but you see this pack of Garu, they're not going to attack you if they're on their own path and they're just walking around and you're doing your own thing and you're on passive. But if you are not on passive and you, like, actively run through them, they might attack you. Now, these are goats, and goats are actually more formidable than Garus, so, you know, I wouldn't engage them unless you want. But, of course, you can always just save the game and go fight something and see how it plays out if you're interested. All right. So now what I'm going to do is roll over here, and I'm going to have tutorial dude i'm going to turn him off um jobs and i'm going to go into the base and just pick up all the metal and sell it i'm going to turn him off sneak i'm going to just push one twice to open this up and we got 10 copper and we got some more iron and it looks like actually he was just coming back to eat i thought he was coming back because he was full up on iron but um, let me just take this out for him, and then, uh... Oh, okay. Uh, he'll just eat it automatically. It's in his backpack. Um, and he ate it, and then... Let me turn his job off. I think I... Yeah, I turned Soto's job off. That was... I had the wrong person selected. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, um, go over here with Tutorial Dude, and... Turn him off, sneak. Soto, am I sneaking with you? There you go. Sometimes you always gotta... I forget, like, who I've got selected and just give the wrong commands. It's good to be aware of that and just switch it back up. All right. Show me your goods. And we're gonna be like, hey, get, sell all this. All right. So now we're up to 1924. And this is good money. But I don't want to buy what he has right now. I need to go to the general store and buy some stuff for crafting. All right. So I'm going to go talk to this guy, and we're going to trade and pause it. What we want, all right, are cotton and fabrics. And he's got um, some fabrics here, not very many. We're going to buy all of them, and we're going to buy all of the cotton, okay? And we're going to use both of these things. Uh, we're also going to, while we have some money, Uh, gee. I'm going to buy all the research books. And I'm going to leave a little bit of cash behind for food in case we need it. But we're not, we're not running super low right now. And I'm going to move Tutorial Dude up here. Okay, we're going to just push Page up to go up to the top. And you can see Tutorial Dude standing on the roof of our base. Now, what I want to do here is say, okay, I'm going to change his jobs around. So make sure you have him selected. And in jobs, I don't want him to um, operate the iron right now at a high priority. What I instead want him to do is first, always, I'm going to um, shift, right-click, operate machine, fabric, loom. Okay? And then I'm going to shift, right-click on the other bench the clothing bench now i've added some jobs but i'm gonna just left click and drag these jobs to change the order so that um at f for the time being it's going to be medic first research if i queue any up will be second and then the third job that i want him to do in terms of the hierarchy would be turn cotton into fabric and then fourth would be do whatever I have assigned at the clothing bench and then finally if none of those things are happening go mine iron now right now I'm going to left click okay on my fabric loom and I'm going to open up his inventory you could see on the fabric loom it says input cotton and I have seven cotton I'm just going to drag this over here okay um and you really don't necessarily need to do that he knows to do that if it's in his backpack um, but I'm going to just unpause the game, and you can watch him go. Now, he is turning this, okay? You can see he did put it all in there, and he's just going to turn this cotton into fabric. Now, check out his skills. What is being raised right now? This is actually laboring. So using the loom is laboring. And this is great because he's already good at laboring, uh, so no worries. Okay, now... Um, 
he's going to get some food, I believe. Uh, and let's see, what is he up to at this point? Let me just double click on him. And oh, he's going to go mine. Okay. So no, let me come back with him. I'm actually going to turn mining off for the purposes of this. I do want him to mine if there isn't anything do, uh, being done because it's just better for automation purposes. So I don't have to babysit him as much. But right now I'm trying to walk through this and I'm explaining. Okay, so we did make fabric, right? And if I look in his inventory, okay, um, he has put all of the fabric here. All right. So there's three fabric in here and he's been making fabric with the cotton okay so he's out of cotton and we put all the fabric away including the fabric that we bought and now we want to go over here to the clothing bench and i need to make stuff so what you want to do is click the q button on the clothing bench and then it opens up this crafting screen for the station we're at a crafting bench okay and from this item list you can select what you want. Now, for, for example, like, we don't have shirts for our people, okay? Um, and, you know, we could make a shirt if we wanted, okay? Um, or we could make pants. But what we want to make, okay, are... Um, by the way, you can see a shirt. A shirt is just like you sell it and it's cosmetic, but it doesn't really do anything, all right? But if you make a bandana, for example, it says it's an armor class and it tells you like all the stats of that item. So if you want to make armor and stuff for your people, make sure that you're building something that is um, a piece of equipment that actually provides armor. Okay, so what we're going to be making are bandanas. So I'm going to click bandana. I'm going to take um, the other shirt off of the queue okay and i'm going to click this button at the bottom that says repeat queue and what this means is as long as we have fabric we're just going to try to crank out bandanas he's going to be making bandanas indefinitely as long as this job is assigned and we have fabric to do it so now um you can see that the clothing bench it's saying fabrics empty and it says bandana and you can see it kind of like ghosted out right there and now he's going to start doing it immediately now He's going to be making this right here. He's put some fabric into this, okay? And watch this. This is going to fill up, okay? And I believe you get... My math might be wrong on this. You either get two or three bandanas out of each piece of fabric, okay? So you could see the progress bar working down on this fabric. That's just like how much left of the fabric you have. Yeah, it looks like two bandanas per fabric. Now watch this. If I click on our... I'm going to pause it, click on my armor storage. He's automatically, okay, putting the, the bandanas into the armor storage. So he doesn't even put them in his bag. He's just like throwing them in here. So the fabric is being stored correctly. Um, and then he is putting the finished product here. All right. And so let's just watch him work. Now, this is raising a different skill for us, which is armor smith. So this is the skill that we need to raise, okay, to get good at this, right? Now, um, you can see, I'm just going to let it run while I talk to you. On the left, at the bottom panel, it says um, armor smith, okay, and it says armor quality prototype. That means that right now, with our skill, we can only make prototype quality gear. And this is terrible gear that sells for dirt, okay? So we're losing money right now making this gear, but it will raise our skill. Now, once we bump up, we can start making better quality gear. And the higher quality gear that we make, it starts to sell for exponentially more money, okay? So you just have to kind of pass some time raising up your armorsmith, and using your money to buy cotton and fabric and eventually this can start making you money you do more research and we can start actually crafting good armor and gear for our people that we raise up so this can be a great money maker and it can be um a great way to create gear for our people okay so now that we've set this um i'm going to pause the game and i am going to get him back on this uh I'm going to just have tutorial dude select them a shift right click um oh 
Oh, I can't do it with that open. I have him and... I wonder why... Maybe because he's doing something. That's not letting me set that as a job right now. Well, I'll move him over there and just reset it. I think it's because he's doing something that I can't set that as a job. Um, what you doing now? He is operating the machine. Which one? Oh, no, he's going to do it right now. Okay, well, once he gets close, all I'm going to do is just... There we go. Maybe he had to be close enough. Um, I'm, I've now set this as his other job. Okay, so he can go ahead and do that, mine, while we finish. And now look in here. We've made... Look at this. Look how many bandanas we made. Now, these bandanas that we made are all prototype grade, all right? Um, which is not very good. You can see that they only sell for six cats, which is something, but not great. Now, if I mouse over this, okay, I do want to show you that right now, I'm only making prototype. If you look at the right side of this bottom panel, it says state in production, we're, we're working on this bandana, but we don't have enough fabric to finish it. And it retains your progress. You just need to get more fabric and add it to it. It says, who's making it? Tutorial dude, his current armorsmith skill is four. The predicted result is prototype quality. And below that, it says critical success chance. So what this means is that like right now, we're not skilled enough to get crits. But later, when you raise your skill, you will become able to get a crit, which means that you make a bandana of one quality level higher than what you normally would, and it sells for even more, and it's better um, armor. So, you know, this is when the money really starts rolling in, but it does take a little time to get there. So now we've talked about, you know, we did a little another practice fight. We've got all our people automated, um, show them the gear, and we have built some crafting stations and queued all of the labor for this. And all we're going to do is just eventually start taking our money and buying more cotton. Remember, um, we bought out all the cotton and fabric that they have. So we have to wait until the next day for them to restock those supplies at the general store. Or you can go back to the hub if you really, really want fabric and stuff. But I don't think it's that big of a deal to just wait continue making money with your people i'm gonna put tutorial dude on sneak by the way he's like flying along uh just so you know we have a little bit of extra protection and we're gonna continue this process save some money make sure we have enough food maybe buy uh some more people in our army continue fighting and continue crafting and maybe next episode, uh, another thing I can get into is showing you how to lure back more dangerous enemies to the base uh, so that we can, like we did very, or very early on um, in this tutorial series where Tutorial Dude got all his like real heavy armor, we can go get that kind of heavy armor for everybody um, and just get a little bit of better gear. Everyone, I hope you're continuing to find this series to be informative and enjoyable we're crafting we're making bandanas for our upcoming bandana empire and we're leveling up making money and continuing our quest to expand our operation in kenshi take care everyone